this lesson, we're going to be calculating the surface area of a sphere. First up, what is a sphere? A sphere is a perfect round shape, like a ball, such as a football. We have a nice formula for calculating the surface area of a sphere, and that is 4 pi r square. Once we apply that, it will give us the area of a sphere. Now let's use that to estimate the area, the surface area of the Earth. The Earth has an approximate radius of 6,357 kilometers. Now the Earth is not a sphere. The correct name, as geologists say, is a spherical ellipsoid. So it's round, but it's flat at the top and the bottom, or the poles. So it doesn't make it a true sphere, but we can use that formula to estimate the area. And so applying this formula here, 4 pi r square, that's 4, using pi as 3.14, times 3.14, times the radius, 6357, we can estimate the actual surface area of the entire Earth, including the surface area of water and land and everything. So, Punch in that number in your calculator, 4 times 3.14 times 6,357 gives us a nice number of 507,567,000 ,799 kilometers square. So this would be the approximate area of the Earth. Of course, it's an approximation and not the exact thing because the Earth is not a true sphere. But this is exactly how we apply the formula. 4 times pi times r square. 4 times pi times r square. Now let's see how we can use that in a CXC question. Here we have a diagram. The curved surface area of a sphere of a cylinder is this. And... We are told also in the, in the question that the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square. Now this is our shape, and we are being asked to do some calculations using pi as 3.14. So the first part is to calculate the surface area of the cylinder. And let's cal do that calculation using the formula given, 2 pi r h. So we do that calculation, 2 times pi times r times h, and that gives us 2 times 3.14 times the radius. The radius is 3 times the height of 8. And that gives us approximately 150.72 centimeters squares, centimeters square. So that is the part one the curved surface area of the cylinder, that is the, the, the surface area of the round part of the shape. The second part is to calculate the area of the hemisphere, and that is this part of it. So this would be a sphere cut in two. When you cut a sphere in two, you get a hemisphere. All right. So let's do the second part, which is to do that calculation. And since we have our formula as four, pi r square, which would calculate the entire area of the sphere. We need to divide that out because we are finding half of it. And so we are going to use 2 pi r square, which gives us 2 times 3.14 times the radius square, which is 3. So it's 3 square. And punching that into our calculating device gives us 56. 0.52 centimeters square. So this is part two. And the third part is to calculate the total surface area of the shape, of the, of the solid paperweight, this is it. And so since we have both areas, what we need to do now is to calculate, is to add together our two answers. So to find part three, we simply add those two answers, 150.72 plus 56.52. And that gives us a total 
of 207.24 centimeters squared. So in this question, we didn't apply the formula for the entire, for the entire sphere, but we did um, use that formula, use half of it to find the area of the, of the hemisphere. CXE often does that. You're often called upon to make your own formula or to use the existing formula to create formula for your particular question and your particular need. Until next time, thank you for watching and best wishes as you continue to prepare for your exams.